Now, Azimio leaders are blaming the government for allegedly abducting ex-Mungiki leader Mainan Jenga and his personal assistant who were picked up by unknown individuals in Kiambu on Saturday night. Their whereabouts remain unknown amid loud silence by police about their alleged disappearance. And while Jenga's family pleads for his release, Azimio leaders say that they will hold Jafet Kome, the police boss culpable for the life and well-being of their associate. Ruth Sarmoy begins the broadcast. It has been more than 20 hours since the former Mungiki leader Maina Njenga was allegedly abducted by unknown people on Saturday night at Ndenderu in Kiambu County. Na kule Kiambu alikuwa amefika tu kwa muda mfupi na hata kabla wajaketi polisi wakafika kule nyumbani. Hiyo ni kumaanisha kwamba askari walikuwa wamemfuata kutoka na nyuki mpaka hapa banana. We are here to join and stand in solidarity with the family of Maina Jenga and with him on his gangster style abduction. Now this is a country under the rule of law, but what you are witnessing is complete reversal of all the gains that you have made, and clearly the country will not agree to this kind of approach. According to his lawyers, Njenga was taken by individuals on board a vehicle bearing South Sudanese number plates, whose occupants identified themselves as detectives. We now know from the family were in Subarus, they were armed, they were also hooded. These are characteristics we know of the Special Service Unit, SSU, that terrorized Kenyans during the protests. As new leaders have termed the move by government as a ploy to intimidate and silence opposition. We also want to say to Kenyans that as my brother Jeremiah Kioni has said, the Kenya Kwanzaa regime has resorted to intimidation and harassment of the opposition leaders as well as supporters. Mambo ambao tulikuwa tunafikiri aliisha na nyayo era. Lakini kama vile wengine wamesema ni kwamba with increased taxation expect increased police brutality. It is an attempt to distract Kenyans from the mess, economic mess the Kenya Kwanza regime has put Kenyans in like the skyrocketing cost of living and especially cost of fuel and food. Kioni on his part is calling on Jenga's supporters to seek redress on alleged police brutality among other issues. Jana ambao wana muamini maina Jenga na wapia ni mijana ambao ni wanaazimio nyi pia mjipage mlete memaladamu Kule bombers on police intimidation, police brutality, and necessary harassment. Jenga is expected to appear at the Madaraka Law Court on Monday for the mention of his firearms case. We demand his immediate and unconditional release. All his immediate production in court. We want to make it clear that we will hold the Inspector General of Police fully liable for the life and well-being of Mr. Maina Jenga and of his family members and associates should anything happen. Ruth Sarmui, NTV.